Hello everyone, welcome to Raw Sims, it's me, Ralt, and this is Let's Play The Sims 4 with the Marshall Sisters, and uh, yeah, we're getting to work, though right now we're honestly just sitting here with uh, Dawn Sr. and Little Miss Dawn, and uh, they're, they're chatting it up, you know, she's working on that, that social skill by getting to know her dad better, which is good, it's always good. And uh, we're waiting for, for Danny to wake up. We're going to work on her baking some more. And uh, Isaiah has gone off to work as a painter extraordinaire. No, wait, that's not his job. That's his ambition. Oh, my God. What am I doing? He's a color theory critic. And uh, he needs to create more paintings. Which is good because we're going to be creating paintings for selling in stores and things. And you're eating some brownies. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is spoiled. It's gross. Let's get rid of that. How about this brownie Cassidy was eating at some point? That's still good for a good long while. Alright, Cassidy, what's wrong, honey? Oh, you're hungry. I'm sorry, sweet pea. You were, you were painting your little pictures, because you did too for your thing. And you have done, so you need five, level five critic. Oh my god, what are words? You need level five creativity skill. And you need um, to play with three toys. And you're awake, okay. Um, we're going to take a pregnancy test because we did try for baby with you. We do want you to have some more kids. And you're going to go bake. You're going to bake, bake, bake. It's going to be awesome. Well, I'm sad we don't have a cupcake machine here because then she can't really use that, but whatever. Yeah, she is prego. Alright. Let's uh let's take a shower. Actually you're gonna be baking, so take a thoughtful shower. There you go. Wow, everybody in this entire house is feeling very creative right now. Or inspired. Oh, that's cute. Talking to your Uncle Don. But don't take after him, Cassidy. He's not really a good role model. Just keep that in mind. And you're eating a brownie. Are you eating your cousin's brownie that he took out? He might be. Maybe, maybe not. What are you getting? You're grabbing a serving of something. All right, well, whatever. And Dawn is over here swimming in this pool I randomly put her. I should move that. There's no reason for that to really be there. I just put it there because, like, we had just gotten pools. So I was like, oh my god, it would be so awesome if they had a pool right there. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> Hilarious. Also, it's worth a lot of money. That's another good reason to get rid of that. Um, it was a fountain there originally. Let's, let's put the fountain back. The fountain, the fountain was fine. It wasn't hurting anything. It wasn't doing any harm. Um, stop that. Can I get a hand tool? Thank you. There you go. Nice little fountain. That looks lovely. It's not doing anyone any harm being there. Maybe put a little spout in it, you know. We have like three that just go up into the air. Do I have to just put three of these in here like this? Yeah, that'll work. Beautiful! Why aren't they emitting it? Oh, it's paused. Of course. Oh, I thought those would go like much higher. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's gorgeous. Okay. Lovely. All right. Um, You pick this up. Put that away. Who left a brownie on the floor? You, no, don't go play with the clay. I, I just, uh, why does the clay have such, like, a high little, like, whatever it is that it broadcasts itself so much that they constantly play with it. And, like, adults constantly play with it, which is, like, I don't mind the kids constantly playing with the clay. Quite frankly, they're kids. You know, they're gonna play with stuff, but you have, like, adults just constantly wandering around the house looking for clay to play with. Alright, you ready? Yes, you are. You look lovely. You have a bunch of stuff in your inventory. And first, you're going to eat some food. And clean out the spoiled food. Because your family is disgusting. No, no, they're not. I'm kidding. Your family is pretty great. Um, eat some butternut gnocchi. And she's feeling good because uh, she's happy from camping. They camp for like one day, but she, she's pretty pleased with it. Um, I think we're going to take off today. We're actually going to have one vacation day. We're going to use it. Just so she can, um, 
she can concentrate on learning to bake a little bit better. But we do want to get her to the top of that career. I wish she could retire at any time, because I don't think you can retire until you're actually an elder. Um, Alyssa Rudolph. What? No. Leave us alone. Aren't you our, like, our maid or something? Why are you trying to come over our house all the time? You don't be over here cleaning nothing, so I don't know why you trying to be over here. He has a cute little shirt on. This is uh, new with this uh, expansion. So are these jeans, I do believe. Little Mr. Cassidy. He's, he's, he's having a good time. So we need him to get his creativity up. Um... Why don't you go practice on the piano, sweetie? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you finally put on some clothes, Miss Donnie. Okay, she has an outfit that's also from the new expansion. This cute little sweater dress with a bunny on it. And this hair style is also from the expansion. And it's adorable. She is adorable. Um, and you need to go talk to your dad some more. Because you still... Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess not this exact second. Jeez. What's wrong with you? Why are you sore? Oh no, you're feeling smothered. You're not actually sore. You're just kind of being a jerk, basically. Um, so give your dad a heartfelt compliment. Ask him about his day. Discuss your interests with him. Uh, talk about toys. Give him a hug. Um, you, you're feeling very inspired. Good. That's what I would like to see. Let's see, and are you taking your vacation day? Take your vacation day. There you go. Now, I want you to listen to this classical music that's playing, and you're going to bake your little heart out. Um, Let's bake some more oatmeal cookies. Bake your heart out, Miss Lady. And uh, after that, we're going to bake some bread. Why not? You are eating brownies and feeling smothered. How are you? You are relaxing in the bath. Okay, you need to achieve level 10 painting skill. You need to paint two more masterpieces. You're hungry and for work, you just need to create paintings. All right, so all roads leads to the same thing with you, buddy. All right, so we are going to grab some food. All right, some French toast, fine. This French toast is bad because you slobs leave everything out all the time. I'm gonna choose some French toast. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be awesome. You can put on some clothes at some point, miss. I mean, it, it, it just maybe. Here, put on some clothes. Jesus, woman. Hurry that up. Oh, they're chatting flirtily. There you go. Put on some clothes. There you go. Yeah, you have a new outfit. This is not from the expansion. This is uh, just some custom content. Because, you know, I like custom content. Awesome. Okay, baking level three. She can now bake plain bagels, whole wheat loaves, fruit pie, blueberry bagels, peanut butter cookies, and onion bagels in the kitchen. And she can bake fruit tarts, fruit muffins at the Cupcake Factory. And she can now, oh, she can decorate cookies, cakes, and cupcakes now. Okay, awesome. So we're going to need you to go view the flirty work because we want you to write a, uh, we want you to write a nice little thing, but you're too busy being inspired. Um, let's turn this off. There we go. All right. Uh, right. Why is it not working? Did I click it too early? Right. There we go. Write a romance. It's going to be great. So write a romance. I have no idea what your previous romances were titled. Um, Brazen Love. Uh, why not? Pretty sure you probably already wrote one named that. But okay, she has body language, five sensuous nights. Bolster your heart, tugging heart strings like a puppeteer. She actually has not written one uh, called Braids in Love yet. That's awesome. All right, so you have made the delicious oatmeal cookies. That's awesome. I wish there was a way for me to put these in a different freezer that would just look like I, I could have her just hold them, but then they would go bad. So I wish there was a way for me to put those in a separate freezer that people wouldn't just keep eating all the cookies and baked goods that she's making. All right, let's make some blueberry bagels. So good. So good. Also, you should tell your husband that you're pregnant. I mean, I don't know why he wouldn't be able to tell, considering your baby bump there, but hey, whatever. Oh, and you're painting uh, autonomously. That's good. You need to be painting. Go ahead. Oh, now, now that I say it. Oh, now that I say it, you're just sitting there looking. Oh, wait. Everyone has done this weird thing where they, like, all pause and what they're doing. Except for him. He's still playing the piano. 
so weird things. And I believe the last time this happened, what I had to do, cheats, true, and then I just had to reset somebody. Okay, well last time I reset one person and then it worked. But apparently this time I need to reset everybody. Uh, you eat your French toast. Reset. Where did that go? It's just gone. Oh wait, here it is. Resume the blueberry bagels. Resume the blueberry bagels. No. Not gonna do it. No, okay. Not gonna clean them up either. Just gonna stand there. Ah, just as I was congratulating the thing on, you know, stuff being awesome now and not being weird. Everything decides to be weird. Resume writing your book. And you just can't do anything with this. You're trying, but you can't. All right, can we clean this up then? No, it's just going to be stuck forever. All right, well, whatever. Maybe now? No. <sighs> Game. Well, let's try the blueberry bagels again. And hopefully this time it... Okay, she started again on her own, so there's that. How has this been about... I think you probably need to be reset there. There you go. All right. I think everybody... Oh, uh, no. She's paused... Oh, game, why are you doing this? All right. I don't know why this is happening. Why is it making my life so hard? All right, I'm gonna, let's, 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 uh, let's just try to reload things here. Oh, wait, it caught up. Okay, well, that was weird. It seemed like everything just kind of got, like, backed up completely for a while, which is odd, but... Okay, well, whatever. They're all back to doing what they were doing. Which is good. Good to see. So, you're finished. I don't think I've ever even seen that one before. It's only excellent, though. It should be... Oh, you can create a copy. Yeah, you can do this now. It's just like with the cookies. But it's still more... Uh, it's still better to... To uh, just actually make a new one. Stop trying to talk to her. She's busy. Come on, man. Why... And where does she go? You're all the way over here now. Did you make your bagels? What is with these bagels? Why did she refuse to make them? God. God, why? She has a potato. Can you clean that up? Will it work if I try to get you to... Okay, you can clean it up now. I don't know what happened to the bagels you were making. You were just like, yeah, I don't feel like it. And where did you go? You went to bed. You were just like, screw it. I'm gone. All right, well, use the toilet because you need to do that. You're going to bed, which is fine. Did you do your homework? Yes, you did. Yeah, you probably need to be in bed. You're still playing the piano. You're still writing. Stop. Don't talk to him. He doesn't need to talk. Don't view that. You, where did you go? Where are you? What are you doing? Didn't I tell you to take that painting like a billion years ago? You just refuse? Stop being weird. Ugh. Game. Why? Now he's just like stuck. Really? Really? Oh, game. And you have to go to the bathroom. You can go. I don't know what's wrong with your husband. Oh, he has come out of his weird thing. Wow. Gabe, you are being a mess right now, aren't you? You almost finished this book. You are almost finished this book. Then you're going to go get some food. That's fine with me. And this kid is still playing. Wait, sweetie, go to bed. It's rather late. They're just still sitting there playing the piano forever. I should probably build them a bathroom. <laughs> because the kids actually have to go all the way downstairs or use uh, one of the adult bathrooms. 
which is it's not ideal. It's less than ideal, I would say. And have you finished your book? You totally I'm finished your book. That. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. And you're still, like, stuck in this uh, conversation with him, even though he's asleep. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Seems legit. All right. And you... What are you doing? You're making drinks. Uh -huh. You are pregnant. Stop making drinks. And you can go to bed, actually. What time is it? Why did I click that? Why am I clicking all the wrong things? I want to see when she goes to work again. All right. Go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Here we go. And you are taking a bath. That's fine. Go to bed after that. Because, you know, bed's nice. And you're sleepy. It's a place you should go. Enjoy life. Go to sleep. There we go. To bed. To bed. Please, nobody wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and just as I said that. He wakes up at 2 a.m. Of course, because he has to go to the bathroom. Well, go to the bathroom. Go ahead, buddy. Go right on ahead now and go back to sleep. You're not even finished sleeping. And I hate it when they wake up at like 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the morning. And it doesn't make any sense because then they just get sleepy really early. And you're waking up to go talk to your, your, uh, your unicorn. Sweet pea. Give the unicorn a hug. And go back to sleep. Wake up at a human time. Come on. Oh my god. I feel like they're doing it just, just to mess with me. Go back to sleep. Are you waking up to get do push-ups? Oh my god, you're so weird. Go back to sleep until a human time that human beings wake up. Okay, I'll forgive you because you're pregnant and you're hungry. And 5 a.m. is at least a time that somebody might actually wake up. I mean, god, why? But... It's, it's a thing. Eat some pasta primavera. Take a little pregnant butt, eat some pasta primavera. There you go. And you have another painting here. That's fine, we'll take that. And, hmm. You're still eternally in this discussion with Deandra. I probably need to reload this lot. Come on, Miss Lady. Who came downstairs? Was it you? It is you. I go eat with your mom. What are you eating? Oatmeal cookies. You're eating oatmeal cookies for breakfast. Why, little boy? Why? Stop eating oatmeal cookies for breakfast. That's not okay. That's really not good for you. Where are you going? I really am going to have to just like take her to the bakery to bake because they will eat all of this stuff forever. They'll just eat up everything. Her family. Her wonderful family eating all her baked goods that she made. Are you eating baked goods for breakfast? You are. Of course you are. Of course you are. Dawn, please don't be like your cousin and your uncle. Please eat something that's not a baked good. For breakfast I mean it could at least be like a breakfast pastry but it's not it's just straight up cookies like come on and you need fun um I wonder if you can watch the baking channel that would be awesome they added a baking channel so you could watch that we can watch cooking shows for ideas do that to get your uh Voting. no wait to get your color you got to watch culinary training videos I think Puts here, yeah, uh, and proves her job performance, which she needs to do because I want her to get promoted. And literally, the only reason she's not getting promoted is because her job performance isn't high enough because she needs to cook more stuff. And she needs, yeah, just more performance. Look at you being healthy. You're eating. Oh, he, okay. See, at least he's eating a bagel. You know, he's eating a bagel. That is actually breakfast food. I'm like everybody else who just trip out here eating cookies. 
When do you go to work? Two days. Time to paint, buddy. All right, so we're going to do a classic large painting. Don't tease your mother that way. Oh, wait. DD calls. The world is never ending. Cispool of grime and crime. Okay, so we're actually going to join him for for work. Everyone else got to fend for themselves. Again, the only problem with this is you have to go with them and everyone else is just kind of still doing stuff. And they're not that great <laughs> in The Sims 4 at doing anything remotely constructive once they're home by themselves. So we're gonna go off to the police station. I have never been here before. I have not played. The only thing I've played uh, very briefly, I played around with um, a scientist and I went to work once. Um, I have never been to the police station. Oh my God. That is so cute. That is ridiculously adorable. Okay, so what do we have? We have these. You can analyze evidence on these thingies. Who's this guy? A detective. Oh, nice. Who are you? You're a lab tech. You're the chief. Officers. Receptionist. Why is the receptionist all the way over here? Shouldn't the receptionist be here? You're an assistant. Ooh, look at the interrogation thingy. Awesome. And I guess this is what you watch the interrogation through here. Totally. Oh, look at the little cameras. Oh my god, this is so cool. <gasps> the jail cell. That's amazing. Oh, look, there's people in jail. Oh my god, that's so cool. Can I let them out? Oh my god, I could totally like release people. I'm just going to randomly release people because I have no idea why they're in jail. Oh, what is this like holding and then this is actual jail? Oh my god, this is so great. So great. It's so great! And he's up here working out. I mean, to be fair, makes sense. He's a cop now. Uh, oh, they have one of these little vending machines. I like this because you're at work, you can buy uh, food and stuff um, while at work. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, he needs to get a computer. Um, he needs to go to a computer and get a assignment, so, um, get case assignment. There we go. Okay, get up, get off, put, go, change back. I don't know how to make you change back into your actual work clothes. You're just gonna be, okay. Oh, he changes back automatically. Thank God, because I wouldn't want him to be at work looking, you know, like that. That's just, that's not okay, quite frankly. It's not okay. And you should make friends. You can make friends too, whatever. You build your writing skill. You build, you can't even build baking. That's the worst. Um, you can tend the garden because it's a hot mess. All right, so you're getting a case assignment. It's gonna be good. Look this big giant folder. Oh my God, I love this so much. It's so cool, I love it. All right, assist with the crime scene investigation. You need to learn the ropes where you can handle running your own case. You'll start by assisting a veteran detective with the crime scene investigation. Use the crime map to travel to the crime scene. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, so here's the crime map. Travel to crime scene. I'm excited. If that wasn't obvious. I'm sure it probably was. Let's go to the crime scene. Baking allows skin, bake, blah, 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 cupcake factory. Yeah. Yep, yep. I know. Crime scene! At a crime scene, you can find clues that will help you track down a suspect. Investigate damaged or stolen objects and search for clues on the ground nearby to uncover more evidence. Also, talk with witnesses to get a report about what happened. Oh my god, so, hey, we're in, what's the face it? So this is actually one of the neighborhoods in, you know, the place. So she's a witness. So let's take a witness report from her. We're a cadet. Awesome. So go get a witness report from this very angry lady. Um, Miss Lady, who are you? Audra Upton. Audra Upton is, seems to be quite angry about life. And he has decided not to get a witness report. He's decided to go and just cook some mac and cheese. No. Take a witness report. And they're just reading, sitting around. You guys are so useful. Wow, you sure are showing him the ropes. All right. All right, so a witness report didn't provide much, but maybe it will fit into the case somewhere. 
Are there any other witnesses? So here's a witness report. This report could be added to the crime map or the pit. Okay. Okay. You're actually doing work. Pat Olson, who is an elder, he's like a veteran. He's the only one who's actually doing work. Mr. Kirk Battle over here is just sitting over here reading a book. He's reading the glutton spiel. And Miss Elise Tobin is just sitting here. Just chilling. So let's go uh, take an evidence picture. Collect the evidence sample. Oh, this. Oh, so I guess the crime was graffiti. <laughs> How did someone get into their house? And graffiti everywhere. That's ridiculous. Who are you? You're a witness too. Okay, we have more witnesses. All right, we should probably talk to them. Are you not a witness? You are a witness, but your little thing isn't popping up. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna go uh, take some crime scene pictures. There we go. Collect some clues. Take a picture. Collect some evidence. Take an evidence picture. Collect some evidence. What's going on here? Who knocked over this? Oh, I guess she was mad because it was a crime committed. There we go. And we're gonna uh, take a witness report from you. So we got some crime photos and some evidence samples. On an Oh, we can analyze them. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. Some crime scene photos. I don't know what they look like. I guess they don't look like anything. Oh, you just add them to the, to the database, okay. New crime scene photo, he's feeling tense because he's smothered. I don't care, Don. Right, frankly, I don't care. We've established that I have no, no, uh, sympathy for you. Okay, so, didn't provide much. Where's that, the dude with the hat? Here we go. Hat guy. We want to take a witness statement from you. Come on, hat guy. Only us and the old dude are doing any work, so... Please help us out. And we're gonna, uh, let's take a picture of... We don't need a picture of that. Just collect a sample of that. I mean, it's graffiti. This is broken. Ooh, they broke the microwave so we can dust for fingerprints. Let's take a picture, too. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, what? The little thing. <laughs> no, no, I'm holding a flower. This is, like, an intense crime. Seriously, because... How did this person just get in their house? They all appear to have... To be home. Fingerprint evidence. Okay, now we just have to go home. Um, how how do we do that? Click your sim. Oh. How? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's go back. Crime scene will be cleaned up once you leave. Unable to return. Sure you want to leave out. Yep. We're going. We've got lots of evidence. Let's analyze some stuff. I'm really excited about interrogating someone. Well, I wonder if he probably can't do that because he's only a cadet, but... I don't care, though. It's gonna be awesome. Let's go on back to the police. Now that you gather evidence from the crime scene, it's time to start tracking down a suspect. Use a chemical analyzer or computer to evaluate the evidence you found at the crime scene. There's a chance you'll discover some information about who committed the crime. All right, so let's go uh, analyze some evidence. Let's analyze the fingerprints. Those seem like a good clue, you know? Oh, look at the little lab tech. Hanging out. Okay, but wouldn't the lab tech probably be doing this and not a random cadet? Even a random officer, like that's what the squints are for, right? At least that's what every, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> every police procedural ever in existence has taught me. So would it, did that work? Uh, did he not find anything out? Um, can't tell if that did anything. Oh, he acquired, oh, you need logic. Oh, he failed to produce any useful information. Okay, well, analyze this evidence. So he probably needs to work on his logic a lot. That would make sense, though. He is trying to be a detective. That kind of requires a lot of logic. All right. Man, sim technology. What even? All right, come on. Produce some something. Oh, Maybe I should have 
taken more evidence. This is this is getting a little bit dire, but I guess, you know, we can use the computer too, probably. And the kids are just meeting a million people at school. Yes, okay, nice work. Analyzing clue evidence from the crime scene allows you to discover clues about the suspect. Once you're running your own case, you'll have to analyze lots of evidence before you can find the suspect. For now, use the computer to file the crime scene evidence. Oh, so the senior detective can take over. Okay. So let's uh file the evidence. Go ahead. If you file the evidence, then you can go uh, to the bathroom. Really? Really? You took the computer? File the evidence. There we go. All right, good work. The evidence you found will be helpful to the detective in charge of this case. Once you get your own case, you'll have to follow up on the evidence yourself. Tomorrow, you'll learn about the next steps in a case. For now, take some time to help process criminals hear a decision. Okay, this is awesome. This is so good. So good. Um, where's the toilet? Here it is. Or is that the toilet in the holding cell? Oh, no. Okay, that's actually right there. Okay, that's actually clearly for the detectives and the police officers. Let's, uh deal with this all right so he's hungry all right so let's go to the uh, vending machine let's get a uh let's get a sandwich you're a little hungry you need some food come on man go get your sandwich we have to do some more work we have to do some more work we haven't gotten like the the full thingy yet this work day will wrap up in one hour i want to stay late I want to stay late because I want to be able to have time to actually get like the full bar full. Help me finish your sandwich, man. Also, why is this person being mean to you? Don't talk to her. She's a jerk. She's just randomly being mean to you for no reason. Like, forget her. All right. So we need to take mug shots at the booking station. Where's the booking station? Let's pause for my time. Oh, okay. This is it. All right. So take a mug shot of... Chantal Dwyer. Let's go do that. Oh my god, there's just so much stuff to do. Like, you don't even have time to do it all. Dude, get up. Come on. We don't have forever. They're already staying at work late. Stop dilly dallying. <gasps> oh my god, we get to take people out. This is awesome. I love it so much. Can you guys move? I like that she's just coming along. Just happily, you know, like whatever. I guess I'm already caught. Oh, this is the best. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, we took mug shots. Um, let's get her fingerprint, and we can search her also. Fingerprints, fingerprints. Fingerprints. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Did he do it wrong? Or is she an alien? Because as I understand, aliens, that you'll discover that like there's something wrong with them. They like don't have fingerprints or something. I'm suspicious of you now, Chantel Dwyer. How does she have like a microphone? Uh -huh. A fish? <laughs> oh, Sims. All right. Um, you can we put her back in the cell? Good. Put her back in the cell. Let's see if we can we can get one more mugshot done. Look at her trying to get out. Pull it on the bars and stuff. We're gonna take a mugshot of you, Miss Pulling on the bars. I just want to get one more done. Come on. Take the mugshot. Yes! Surely appreciate his desire to protect and serve. I don't know if I actually made it. I just know it ended like two seconds later. Oh my god, that was so fun. That was so fun, you guys. It was so fun. I lost track of time. So I'm actually going to end this part now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is this is awesome. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. It's just, it's, it's a great time. Um, it's a really great time. I will probably be recording yet another episode right after this. Uh, so don't forget to like, uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you might want me to, to look at. I'm not going to be able to do everything with this family just because, you know, I actually still want to be able to 
to actually progress the whole family and doing these active careers and stuff that is is not it, it takes up all your time basically so i'm just kind of dabbling in everything on this but i'm probably going to be doing a more focused lp uh just to explore the different careers and stuff like that um but let me know what you think and uh don't forget to leave me a like a comment and subscribe if you haven't already Bye bye